don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host Selassie Fiawi, another edition of performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Today we're going to look at Ghanaian players over the weekend after the international break. We got back to club football and so many Guardians were on show. We are going to look at how they performed over the weekend. As usual, if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, Tottenham Hotspur, Jose Mourinho, after being out for 11 months, out of job for 11 months, finally got his got back into the managerial seat with Tottenham Hotspur midweek and he took charge of his first game in the early kickoff against West Ham. His, he got off to a winning start, beating West Ham 3-2 at the London Stadium. Chelsea unfortunately couldn't overcome Manchester City who had lost to Liverpool in their last game in the Premier League before the international break and it looks like Liverpool cannot lose this Premier League. They have still not lost a game in the Premier League. Coming back to win eventually in the end is crafty goal from Roberto Firmino who got them that 2-1 win over Crystal Palace in midweek in the Italian Serie A Juventus and Inter Milan continue their battle for the Serie A title and one point separates the two sides at the summit of the table and in Spain La Liga Barcelona and Real Madrid still fighting it out tagging it out for the La Liga crown just go different separates the two sides Barcelona came back from a goal behind to beat Leganes over the weekend Real Madrid thrashing Real Sociedad 3-1 one. So that's a wrap up of the action that took over the weekend. Today I'm going to focus on performances of Ghanaian players abroad. I'll start off from England. Jordan Ayew's Crystal Palace. They took on Liverpool at the 3 p.m. kickoff, and Liverpool have still not lost the game. And this looked like a game they could possibly lose, but it wasn't to be. Crystal Palace scored in the first half, but Jordan Ayew was penalized for pushing a Liverpool defender to the ground, and that goal was disallowed by VAR. Subsequently, Liverpool took the lead through Sadio Mane before the equalized Crystal Palace equalized. But Roberto Firmino found the back of the net in what was a scruffy, scruffy goal by Liverpool but they won't care they got the three points and still unbeating in the Premier League that game ended 2-1 in favor of Liverpool Jordan Ayew played 76 minutes before he was replaced by Christian Benteke Jeffrey Schlupp came on to replace Kuyate in the 72nd minute i move on to my next game brighton took on leicester city and leicester city are the closest challengers to liverpool on the league table eight points from the league leaders liverpool and leicester city continued their fine form with a 2-0 victory over brighton and hove albion away daniel amati who is set to leave with the club in january he has not been played featured by brendan rogers after he recovered from his injury a year ago and it, it is quite shocking probably leicester city are looking to offload the Ghanaian, and we hope he gets a better team that will feature him regularly he needs to get back into regular club football before he can be called out by coach as now took on Southampton and Kevin Danso was not in the squad for Southampton who almost got away from the Emirates with a 2 1 win. It wasn't to be like I said, got that crucial equalizer for the Gunners in what was an abysmal performance by us now at home. The awful form of Una Emery squad continues and after the sacking of Marco Silva of Everton, it looks like under fire Una Emery or Olegana Socia will follow this managerial sack race yeah literally it's a sack race Brentford took on Reading and Andy Adam played the full 90 minutes for Reading as they lost 1-0 to Brentford Bristol City took on Nottingham for Reading and what was a 0-0 draw both teams drawing blank and Albert Adoma came on in the 62nd minute for his Nottingham Forest side. Swansea took on Millwall and Andrea you played a full 90 minutes as his Swansea side lost 1-0 to Millwall in that game in the championship. AFC won both then final game in England beat Gillingham 1-0. Kwesiapia came on in the 58th minute no contribution in terms of goals or assist by his side secured that 1-0 when I move to Spain and start off from Granada versus Atletico Madrid who have not won a game in over four straight La Liga 
four straight La Liga games they have drawn and it's not looking good for Diego Simeone and Atletico Madrid. Thomas Partey is out injured and he was not in the squad. The game ended 1-1, another draw for Atletico Madrid. Rayo Vallecano took on Hells Aragota and Rafael Dramina we all know with his diagnosis about his heart condition is no longer playing football for Real Zaragoza. However, his side won 1 0 against Rayo Vallecano. Iba took on Alaves and Mubarak Wakaso back from his fractured wrist and he played 90 minutes before he was replaced in added time. His side beat Iba 2 0. Villarreal took on Celta Vigo and Celta Vigo's Joseph Edu was in action for the full 90 minutes. Celta Vigo beat Villarreal 3 0. One and it was Joseph Edu at the back for the Celta Vigo side. Real Valladolid took on Sevilla. Mohamed Salis, who played 84 minutes before he was substituted in this game against Sevilla, he lost to Sevilla 1 0. Levante took on Real Mallorca and Idris Ubaba played a full 90 minutes of this encounter, ending his first call up and playing for the Ghana Black Stars in the international break against South Africa and Sao Tome. He continued that with his club after returning from that amazing international break. He played 90 minutes in the, his size 2 1 loss to Levante. Lumo and Babaraman, both injured, could not take back. Lumo withdrew from the Ghana Black Star squad, and that is the reason why Lumo at Bengenu could not play for Real Mallorca over the weekend. Babaraman also injured, reason why he wasn't called up for the Black Stars. Lumo pulled out from the Black Stars call up due to injury move to italy where the serie a title race is heating up inter milan juventus one point separates the two sides and inter milan won emphatically here 3-0 against torino kojo samoa is still injured and was not in the squad for inter nazionale hellas veronas took on fiorentina and hellas veronas beat fiorentina 1-0 Kevin Prisbatin was an unused substitute in this encounter. Claude Japon unused substitute as well for Hellas Veronas. Ajemang Bedu still out injured for Hellas Veronas. Sassuolo took on Lazio. Alfred Duncan played a full 90 minutes of this encounter. However, his side lost 2 1 to Lazio. Sam Toria took on Udenese. Nicolas Opoku played 78 minutes as his Udenese side lost 2 1 to Sam Toria. I moved to Germany and Fortuna Düsseldorf took on Bayern Munich. Cassie Adams, who was in action for the Black Stars just this week, this past week, played a full 90 minutes as his side were thrashed emphatically by Bayern, who are still under caretaker coach after Niko Kovac left the team. Bernard Tekpete and Nana Ampoma were on use substitute in this game. Dortmund took on Paderborn SC. Christopher Entry AJ, who made his debut for Ghana against Al Tome and Principe was in action. He came on in the 62nd minute. His side drew 3-3, a thrilling draw with Borussia Dortmund. France, I moved to next and Mets took on Stade de Riem. Jean Boy played a full 90 minutes as his Mets side drew 1-1 with Stade de Riem. In Belgium, Vaslan Beveren played Serge Bruch and Godfrey Dorsa played a full 90 minutes for Serge Bruch in their 1-1 draw with Vaslan Beveren. Thomas E. Japon was not in the squad for this game. Royal XL Moscron took on Genk in the next game in Belgium and Joseph Painto finally back for his Genk side. He played 80 minutes for this encounter in this 2-2 draw between the two sides. They shared the spoils. Turkey next and Angara Kuku took on Traps on Sport. Caleb Kuban was not in the squad. He's been injured for a while now. Kayseri Sport took on Silver Sport and Bernard Mesa as well was not in the squad for Kayseri Sport. They were thrashed 4-1 by Silver Sport. Yeni Malatya Sport played Fenerbahce and both teams drew blanks and also a free aqua played 90 minutes in this encounter for Yelly Malatis point to my final three games. Esperanza Tunis played Olympic Safi in the Arab Club Championship and Kwame Bonsu was on target for Esperanza de Tunis. He is currently there, moved from Kumasi Asante Kotoko, and he is playing club football there. Over the weekend, he grabbed an equalizer for his side. It took them to penalties. This was the second leg. The first leg also ended 1 1. But unfortunately, Esperanza de Tunis lost 4 2 on penalties. Donald Roos played Barrow Strara Sagora. And Inkum was an unused substitute in this game. And finally, in Austria, Swavski Tirol took on Lask. Samuel Tete, who plays for Lask, grabbed a goal for his club side. 
and that is how I end performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Who was your standout performer? Did you watch the Chelsea vs Manchester City game? Let me know your thoughts on everything I've spoken about today. Performances of Ghanaian players abroad, how they've been faring in the top five leagues across the world. I'll see you guys in the next one. The Ghana Premier League will be coming back and CAF nominations are out. That will be in another video. Stick to the channel and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Enjoy your day. Have a great week.